Good morning. Welcome to August 1st. How's your July been? How's your summer been so far? I uh, hope you've been uh, riding along this journey with us through the Word. I thank Steve and Brian and Scott for bringing it uh, this past month. Man, I loved going through Matthew. Uh, what a great book. Uh, this book is going to be good that we're going into this month as well. Both of these books, uh, First and Second Corinthians. Pretty excited about that. Um, let me remind us of our GRIP model, the G-R-I-P. We write out God's Word. Always write it out. Use your book. Uh, write out your G right there on the very top. Make sure that you um, uh, give yourself time to journal all of these things down. Write it out. Uh, writing it out helps us to remember it even more. Your R is what does the Holy Spirit reveal to us. The I is how we implement it, put it to practice in our lives. And the P is how we pray it back. How do we put it into practice? Uh, what do we... What are we doing with the word? Are we just putting it inside in there and not using it or are we using it uh, out in the real world? Uh, today, we're going to be in 1 Corinthians chapter one. For me, only one verse rose up, verse 10, and I titled this, No Division Among Us. Here's my G, God's word. Now I urge you, brother and sisters, in, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that all of you agree in what you say, that there be no divisions among you, and that you be united with the same understanding and the same conviction, oneness of mind. Here's my arm, my reveal. We give a terrible witness for the Lord when divisions rise among us. We tell others to be godly and Christ-like by our actions, not words. And I'm reminded of this wisdom. Preach the gospel, and when necessary, use words. Putting others' needs and desires before our own helps keep division in check. We got to remember that. It's not about us. It's about keeping unity. It's about trying to do for the greater good uh, amongst our brothers and sisters. Here's my eye my implementation. It is not about me. It's always about him. We must show we are disciples of Jesus by how we love one another. Remember John 13, 34 and 35? Unity happens when we seek to serve him and not ourselves. We must remember that he is the vine and we are the branches. Here's my P, here's my prayer. Lord, you're so good to us. Help us to always remember to put our armor on daily and to pick up our crosses as we seek to serve you and live for you through our actions. In Jesus' name, amen. Guys, that's what it's all about. It's about trying to do something for the greater good. It's about doing something for um, the purpose of keeping unity, having no divisions amongst us, uh, no purple carpet syndrome in our churches, in our homes, in our fellowships, in our groups. That's why we don't discuss anything but the word in our groups, and we got to remember that. So let's let's continue to uh, to work on that. Let's continue to see how we um, show others the love of Christ through our actions. Let me pray for us on our way out. Father, I do thank you for this word. I thank you for this reminder uh, that we we don't allow divisions to come in. Lord, I just pray that uh, your will be done in and through us. Uh, that we keep our tongues in check and our hearts in check as we seek to serve others and love others. Uh, the way that you love us. Lord, we're just so grateful and thankful. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Guys, be blessed, and I'll see you back tomorrow.